Hey everyone, Mayhem Prone here from the Mayhem Prone Show, where today I've been wondering why is no pony in all of Equestria, except for myself, ever publicly stated that they want to become an alicorn? One would expect many ponies, especially fillies, to have the desire to become an alicorn, similar to how children in the human world wish to become princesses or superheroes, but we've seen no one in the entire world who wants to become an alicorn. My original explanation is that being an alicorn would be kind of a curse. Their extended life period means they'd have to watch their friends and family grow old and die, and their power would mean that they're always hold to the standard that they'll be around to protect Equestria. Unfortunately, I realize that this doesn't apply to fillies. Fillies don't understand the consequences of their actions, which is why they'd want to become superheroes, even though being a superhero would most likely lead to pain and suffering. So I asked myself, who would benefit most from a lack of alicorns? Celestia. This may sound insane, but think about it. Celestia is supposed to protect Equestria at all times, which is made much more difficult when there's a lot of powerful alicorns running around. For example, imagine if King Sombra or Starlight Glimmer had been alicorns when they tried to take over. This extreme added power might have been enough to tip the scales in their favor. So, it's perfectly reasonable to assume that Celestia is trying to suppress alicorns in the community, but the real question is, how is she accomplishing this? I have two theories. If you want to be dark, you could say Celestia is doing this through conventional means, aka propaganda, silencing of outliers, and maybe even a secret police, but in the context of the show, this doesn't make a lot of sense. My main theory is very outlandish, so you're gonna need a tinfoil hat, because I believe that Celestia is suppressing the ponies' desire to become alicorns through mind control. Dun dun dun! This may sound crazy, but hypnosis is canon to the MLP universe as shown when Trixie was controlled by the alicorn amulet. It could be argued that almost all magical artifacts in the MLP universe involve some sort of mind manipulation. For example, the elements of harmony tend to give the main six more strength and courage, while the gauntlet of fire grants its wielder rule over all dragons. Well, why does any of this matter? Well, I believe that Celestia is using some unseen artifact, or possibly even the element of harmony, to prevent her citizens from designing to become alicorns in order to maintain peace and harmony throughout Equestria. This scenario makes a lot of sense. Celestia wanting to protect her kingdom uses her influence to prevent her enemies from gaining too much power. We've seen this tactic used throughout history in a number of different kingdoms. It also provides a reasonable and logical explanation of why throughout the entire show we've never seen a pony say, I want to be an alicorn someday. But what do you think? Could it be possible that Celestia is actually mind controlling her citizens? Are any of my theories plausible? Why do you think that no pony wants to be an alicorn? Leave a comment in the section below. The must watch pony video of the week goes to Tridassi, who just made another musical remix called 20% Tylenol. It's energetic, hilarious, and awesome, and I highly suggest you check it out. And if you do choose to check it out, please tell her that I sent you. The pony hiatus may have begun, but that does not mean that I'm stopping. New episodes of the Mayhem Prone Show are going to continue to come out on a regular basis, but I'm also going to try out some new ideas. I hope that you'll all support me on my new endeavors. And until next time, I'm Mayhem Prone from the Mayhem Prone Show, and goodbye!